Saturday, the Golden Hurricane had their home opener against Northern Illinois. Find out what happened on the Philip Montgomery Show coming up next. Philip Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by Riversbury Casino, by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard. Wow, what a game between TU and Northern Illinois on Saturday here at H.A. Chapman Stadium. The hurricane prevailing, 38-35. We'll have the lead up to the game and then first half action coming up next. The connection of the past and the future is the very nature of what historians might call a renaissance. This year is the start of that renaissance for the University of Tulsa. A decade of power performance. and a vision for a powerful future. This is the American Athletic Conference. Every month brings exciting new ways to win at River Spirit Casino Resort. Hundreds of thousands in cash and prizes, car and trip giveaways, free play, and so much more. Plus, play with your Connect card and earn points at any of our properties to receive even more special perks. There's always something exciting happening at River Spirit Casino Resort. So check out our website to find out all the ways you can win. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. The first ever meeting between the University of Tulsa and Northern Illinois, the defending MAC champions. It was a heck of a game. Let's get the lead up to the game and first half highlights. Here's my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and head coach, Philip Montgomery. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, coach coming in here. They've been a huge push all week to fill the stadium, and, and, and you certainly you hope it's going to be that way. When you ran out and saw the numbers and the people, what'd you think? Oh, I was just overjoyed, really. You know, honestly, when we got off the bus, and, and we did the walk over to the locker room. You know, just the festivities that were going on, people were having a good time. Uh, the tailgating area was full. Kids are running around having a good time. And then when you walk out and you see the fans being, the stands being full, and, and the, the crowd got into it so much. I, I was so thankful for our community coming out and being a part of it, thankful for our administration. Uh, and everything they did kind of building up to this game and, and for our students to come out and be a part of it. Uh, that was a huge play for us. All right, and uh, coming against Northern Illinois, 9-5 and five last year. They win the MAC. You know they were fourth in the nation in rushing, and you knew they brought in a kind of a tough-nosed, hard-nosed football team. You'd seen Rocky Lombardi. We did a few years ago at Michigan State. What were you expecting from them? That, I mean, that's just what they've been. And, and they did a good job last year, and you saw some of it tonight. They can really do both. You know, Rocky gives them that ability to be able to really run the offense that they want to run. They want to pound the rock. They want to get in heavy personnel. They want to give you some misdirection to it. Uh, but they are going to keep you honest throwing the football, whether that's off the boot and the naked or whether that's just straight drop back and working things down the field. They got a couple of good outside receivers uh, that gave us some fits tonight. But Overall, really proud of our defense and the way they continued to step up and play. And your game plan offensively going in against that defense, what did you want to accomplish? Well, I mean, we wanted to establish the run a little bit more than we did last week. 
but not at the sacrifice of what we were able to do offensively. And so I thought Davis played a heck of a game. I thought we were able to spread the football around still to all of those receivers. They all contributed in great ways tonight. Uh, I thought we did get our running game going a little bit better tonight, and that was good to see. But coming into this, this defense, we really weren't sure what we were going to get. They were a four-man front, but they played a lot of odd. They played some 3-4. And so we got a little bit of all of those things tonight. A lot of blitz and a lot of different movements up front. I thought our offensive line handled it well. As a matter of fact, you're going to see an awful lot of that right now. First half highlights. What's that Northern Illinois defensive front? Twisting, turning constantly, but a good half for Tulsa. Here's the first half of the Huskies and TU. Wade was outstanding last week. Second and 10, and a fake handoff again. The throw left side. It goes into the hands of Santana. He eludes a man at the five and zooms into the end zone. Left pylon for a touchdown. It's a 14-yard touchdown toss as Davis Brand hits Juan Carlos Santana. He spins inside, avoids C.J. Brown, and gets into the end zone. Out of the hold of Wilson. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good. And so T.U. able to get the opening kickoff and march it 75 yards down the field, and they have the early 7-0 lead. On fourth down and six. Snap is back, the ball is down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is no good. Off to the left, he hooked it. And the Golden Hurricane has held it defensively, and Tulsa still leads by a score of seven to nothing for Northern Illinois at the 25, and kicking it away, Lachlan Wilson, 51-yard average in his kicks last ball game. And this is a high nose-up spiral all the way back to the 12. Ripkowitz comes to the near side and gets dragged down from behind by Dorian Hopkins at the 17-yard line. That's going to be a 58-yard kick and maybe a three- or four-yard return. Also leads by a score of 7 to nothing. Hand off Brown again, left side. This time he's hammered in the backfield and dropped, and there's Goodlow for TU. Forcing that edge and doing a great job getting his first TFL of the season. And so back deep at the three-yard line is Tom Foley. Averaged 42.5 on kicks last week. And back deep is Stokes for the Hurricane at Tulsa's 40. Wobbly, nose up, spiraled. Stokes driven back to the 35. Makes the first guy miss. Left side, 40. 45 to the 50. Into Northern Illinois territory to the 45. And then skips out of bounds at the 40. Great field position for TU. On the 18-yard line, a 28-yard field goal attempt from right to left by Zach Long. Three of five last week. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good. And the Hurricane on the board to make it a 10-0 score with 13.02 remaining here. Two tight ends on the right side of the formation. First down and 10, a fake handoff, and back to pass Lombardi. Loads a time, throws high in the air over the middle, and it is knocked away. Incomplete, intended for Thornton at the 30. And boy, he was wide open, but Jace Oliver closed and angled and swatted that one away because for a while that looked awfully dangerous. Yep. Second down and five for TU from their 34, leading 10 to nothing. Out of the shotgun, Bryn. Slot short on the left side is Stokes. Look out for him. And Bryn fakes the handoff, takes it himself off the right side, gets it to the 40, right numbers to the 45, to the 46, and maybe the 47. He got about 13 on the play. Down conversions for TU, leading 10 0. Here's the snap. Back to pass, Bryn. Bryn has loads of time, throws over the middle, and it is caught at the goal line, and it is a touchdown or not? It is a touchdown. Caught by Juan Carlos Santana, a 25 yarder, and Tulsa has taken a, seven, a 16 to 10 nothing lead. 16 to nothing lead on a 25 yarder. Snap is back, ball down. Here's the kick on the way and it is good. So TU takes a 17 to nothing lead over Northern Illinois midway through this second quarter of play. Tulsa showing blitz. Three down linemen, but right, right up there near the line of scrimmage and here he comes. Back to pass goes Lombardi. Lombardi hit as he throws incomplete at the 45-yard line on third and seven, intended for Gums, and it'll be fourth and seven. Here's first down. Back to pass, Bryn. Big rush on. He throws downfield near side. It's a duck, and it's intercepted. It is picked off by NIU's Mohamed Jamey, and it is a six-yard return. He caught it at about the 48-yard line, so uh, it is second down now, and about seven. Fake handoff, Lombardi back to pass, and he slings one right ahead to Casper Rakowski, uh, 
and he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. First down and 10 for the Hurricane. Epps on the right side goes in motion. Back to pass, here comes a blitz. They pick it up, a throw toward the end zone. It's caught by Epps. That's a touchdown, Tulsa. 20 yard touchdown toss. Davis Brin on a slant to Isaiah Epps and the Golden Hurricane is up their lead to 23 to seven. The Hurricane responding with that late in the first half touchdown. They have a lead at halftime of 24 to seven. We'll be back on the Philip Montgomery Show with second half highlights next. The connection of the past and the future is the very nature of what historians might call a renaissance. This year is the start of that renaissance for the University of Tulsa. A decade of power performance. and a vision for a powerful future. This is the American Athletic Conference. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the healthcare needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System, healthcare for life. At halftime, the University of Tulsa is ahead 24-7 over Northern Illinois. Let's get halftime adjustments and get you to second half highlights. Here's Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. All right, so at the half, Coach, you've played a really good half. There's no question about that. You've got to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, I thought we were in a good spot. I thought we had the momentum coming in at halftime. Uh, talked to our guys about coming out and having to reestablish that part of it. They put a pretty good drive in there together, uh, understanding we got to go out and take control of it. They get a little surprise part to that. You know, we talked about that coming into the game understanding their kicker was going to spray it around and do some different things and take some chances in the kicking game part of it. I thought our guys were there. There's some things we could probably coach up better there, um, but good play by them. We just needed to get off the field defensively a couple of times on third down. And, uh, you know, I think if we continue to grow and do the things that we did tonight, you saw our defense really step up big there in the fourth quarter. Offense went out and did some good things in the fourth quarter. We got to continue to keep building on that part of it. All right, so the final message before you went back out? You know, it was really about establishing, establishing that momentum again, understanding we got 30 minutes to play, uh, understanding that we got to be locked in and focused as we stepped out onto the field, and then keep doing the things that you did. I mean, I thought our defense played really well in the first half. Offensively, we were clicking in the first half. We just needed to go back out and reestablish. All right, so I, you're going to swear that it was close to Halloween, and it was a full moon. This is a very bizarre second half. Here's TU in Northern Illinois. Second down and short. And a back to pass goes Lombardi, throws high in the air, left boundary, and it is Rutkowitz who catches it in the end zone for a touchdown. Casper Rutkowitz on a 30-yard touchdown reception, his second of the game. Jackson and shoulders back deep to receive, and it is a an onside kick, and it is a loose ball, and Northern Illinois says they've recovered. Onside kick, Northern Illinois is saying they have it, and they do. First down and 10 at the 43 of Tulsa. And they hand it off to Brown. Brown off the left side. He gets dragged down for hardly any gain at all, maybe a half yard or so. Motion by Rutkowitz to the right. Out of the shotgun, Lombardi has the snap and drops back to pass. 
now steps up, runs to the right, running, now throws at the last minute, complete at the 30-yard line for a first down. The single setback, first and goal at the eight. Here's the snap and the handoff to Brown. Brown cutting to the right, now cutting to the outside, breaks a tackle at the 10 to the five, touchdown. Northern Illinois, it's an eight-yard touchdown run by Antero Brown, and we have a ball game, folks. It's 24-20, third down conversions. Brin out of the shotgun, has the snap and drops back to pass. He steps up, throws over the middle, caught by Malachi Jones at the 45 and driven back by C.J. Brown of four wide receivers in the set. First and 10 at their 44. Fake handoff, throw over the middle, and it is caught by Jones. Breaks a tackle, tackle, sidestepping a man at the 45 of Northern Illinois, and he leans forward to the score 24-21 TU with the lead, but they are faced with third and 20. Four of eight on third down conversions. Five receivers on this formation. And here's the snap. Back to pass goes Bryn. Bryn with plenty of time. Throws over the middle. It's caught by Stokes for a first down at the 30. And he leans forward to the 28. Oh, that's a huge play. 23 yards and a first down. Mark for Zach Long out of the hold of Lachlan Wilson. Right hash mark from right to left. Snap back. The ball is down. Here's the kick. It's on the way. And it is... No good, he pushed it off to the right. Lombardi now 15 of 21 for 192 yards. Here's the snap and back to pass Lombardi. Lombardi looking to run. He runs on the right side, flips it down the field and it is caught by Tucker, center of the field. 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown. Northern Illinois, a 33 yard touchdown pass from Lombardi to Cole Tucker. U trails 28-24 early fourth quarter. Here's the snap. Brin back to pass. Has a rush coming. He throws left side. Caught by Stokes. Stokes he's able to cut to the center of the field of the 15. He gets down to the 10. Down to the 5 and inside the 5 yard line. Oh what a play. It's a 30 yard gain. And that was a simple play over the middle. Trailing 28-24 with 10.40 to go in the football game. To the right of Brin is Anderson. Brin out of the shotgun stands at the 6. On fourth down and goal. Here's the play, Bryn awaits the snap. Bryn has the snap and he fakes a handoff, flips it to the right side, caught by Stokes for a touchdown. They fake the inside play and Stokes who went in motion, went off to the right, flaring, caught the pass from Bryn for the score and the Golden Hurricane has retaken the lead at 30 to 28. So now it is second down and 14 from the 14. Tulsa leads 31-28. Motion from right to left by McCray. Out of the shotgun, Lombardi has the snap and drops back to pass. Has time, throws left side, and it is batted away. Good play by Tyon Davis, intended for Tucker down the left sideline at the 35, and Tyon Davis batting it away. Out of the shotgun, Lombardi has the snap and drops back to pass. Now he rolls to the right, still rolling, still rolling, and he throws it downfield, and it's incomplete at the 26-yard line, intended for Blake Moore. Back at the 40 of Tulsa with the wind. It'll be Foley to kick it away. He's at the goal line. His fourth punt, and here's his kick. High spinning kick, and a fair catch called for by Stokes, and he fumbled the football, recovered by Northern Illinois at the 39. Stokes fumbles the football, and Northern Illinois recovers at the Tulsa 39. Play third down and five. There's motion to the left, back to pass Lombardi, throws it to the right side, Blakemore catches it, 20, 15, 10, five, out of bounds. On second down and goal. And Lombardi takes it himself and his sneak is, I don't know, I don't see a sign yet. All the NIU players are saying touchdown, now they give us the signal touchdown for Northern Illinois. Rushes on, he steps up, he throws toward the end zone, and it is caught at the one yard line by Stokes, and a flag flies. Tulsa has it at the one yard line, and a brilliant catch by Stokes. It is 31 yards to the one. The First and goal for Tulsa at the one yard line after NIU used their final timeout. Bryn out of the shotgun. He has the snap and the handoff goes. Anderson chugs into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. With 58 seconds to go. Snap is back. The ball is down. The kick is on the way, and it is straight through there. And the Golden Hurricane has taken the lead. 38-35 with 58 seconds to go. 38 seconds to play. 7 of 13 on third down conversions for NIU. Ball at their 45-yard line. Lombardi out of the shotgun. Three to the right, one to the left. 
Lombardi awaiting the snap, standing at his 41-yard line. Tulsa with their three-man front. Here's the snap, and he drops back to pass. Not much of a rush. He throws over the middle, and it's batted in the air and nearly intercepted. In fact, it was intercepted. Intercepted by Tyon Davis. He gets his first career interception, and it's a game winner for Tulsa. On a ball batted in the air, Tyon Davis comes up with a pick, and TU takes over at their 41-yard line with 32 seconds to play. My goodness, what a play by TU's defense to end this game, hopefully. Game, and they will presumably snap the ball, take a knee, and that will be that. They snap it, they take the knee, and Tulsa in a another momentum swinging, emotionally draining seesaw battle, wins 18 seconds to go. And somehow, someway, Tulsa's won this home opener. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. been smoking the good stuff over 20 years, serving up mouth-watering barbecue, talking about slow-smoked classics like Rib Crib's famous ribs. Yeah. Hungry at Rib Crib. Welcome back to the Philip Montgomery Show. The hurricane, very exciting here in the stadium with a 38-35 win over Northern Illinois. But there was a lot of excitement outside the stadium as Tulsa's atmosphere was absolutely spectacular on home opening night here at TU. Here's a look at the sights and sounds of pregame.
Costa. The connection of the past and the future is the very nature of what historians might call a renaissance. This year is the start of that renaissance for the University of Tulsa. So the final 38-35 and had them right where you wanted them the whole time, right? <laughs> I don't know about all that, but, you know, just really proud of our football team, the way they stayed together, they stayed resilient, they uh, kept confidence in each other, and, you know, we talked about it leading up to this game. It's about finding ways to go win, finding plays to go win, and having that type of attitude and mentality about us, those guys battled to the end, and we found a way to come out on top. Weird third quarter, and you just you had I think eight or ten plays in the entire yeah, third quarter. Drive. Yeah, it just kind of flipped everything around. What was changing right there? Well, you know, defense was on the field too much, right? And then you know, uh, you have the the blunder, if you will, or the surprise onside, and and you know, fortunate play by them, and now the defense has got to go right back on the field, and so, you know, you get into those situations uh, that makes it tough on your defense because they're just on the field too much. You need to be able to balance that part of it out uh, offensively, getting on the field and getting back into a rhythm. You know, you stand on the sideline that long, it's kind of tough. And so uh, we got to balance that part of it back. There's some things that we are definitely going to learn off of this tape. It's just a whole lot easier to correct those after a win. And you had some really big drives. You know, first of all, they gave you an opportunity on a fourth down call that surprised a lot of people. But you had to go out and make something happen offensively, mm -hmm. and you did. How much of what's happening there is Davis Brin and his kind of maturity, how the game has slowed for him, and how he's different now that he's played a couple of years? Well, I just think he's confident. Uh, I think those guys are really doing a great job of getting separation, understanding spacing. And, and making good decisions within their route. And our offensive line obviously giving him time to be able to get his eyes down the field and take what they're giving him. I think he's doing a good job of being needy, not greedy, right? I don't have to push the ball all the time. I got to find open spots and let those guys do work. And now you need that same kind of crowd for Jacksonville State because they're not a pushover. No, I mean, they beat Florida State, I believe, last year. So uh, this is a team that is talented. Um, they've got a really good, experienced head coach. Uh, we're going to have our hands full when they come to town, so we need another great crowd, people to come out. Uh, it's going to be a good game for us, a big game for us, and we've got to be locked in and focused on it. Okay, be honest now. How many hot dogs did you have the family go buy and stick away on Dollar <laughs> Hot Dog Night? Because I know there's got to be something in the freezer sooner or later. Right? Yeah, I have no idea. You'll have to talk to Mama Money about that, but uh, it'll be uh, – I'm hungry yeah. right now, so hopefully there's going to be something. I'm hoping it's still open. We're going to get that done. <laughs> we'll see you next week after the Jacksonville State game. Hey, thanks, guys. Well, the Golden Hurricane 1-1 one one after the thrilling victory over Northern Illinois. But another home game coming up this week against Jacksonville State, a really good FCS team. So we want you to come out. The game starts at 6 o'clock. Get your ticket information at 918-631-GO-TU or TulsaHurricane.com. For my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and, of course, for head coach Philip Montgomery, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Philip Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by Riversbury Casino, by Pepsi. This has been a presentation from Learfield.